The Firefighter Safety Through Advanced Research Program, FSTAR, is helping to understand science and research that may help improve the safety of firefighters and fire departments. This video focuses on how two departments with different backgrounds and response needs are using fire dynamics research to answer challenges on the fire ground. Now, the Boston Fire Department's been trying to implement and use the UL NIST research for several years now. And one of the things that's very common in Boston is either front porches or rear porches. We have these three deckers, triple deckers, and you have this wooden, basically, kindling on the outside of the front and the rear. At Dunster Street, daytime fire, about 10.30 in the morning, but someone had been refinishing the floors, they left some combustible material in the rear. So by the time the first company showed up, literally the entire rear of the building was engulfed in fire. And it had already, of course, progressed into the second and probably the third floor at that point. So the first line we ran was not in the front door. The first line we ran was down the alley to knock down the heavy fire in the exterior. By the same token, one of the things we've learned from the UL research is how little time we have from our first arrival to save someone who might be in that bedroom with the door open. So if we don't show up until, say, seven or eight minutes after the fire was initiated, we may only have three or four minutes to save that person. Now, we, so we will simultaneously knock down that heavy fire. We, we're not afraid of driving that fire through the building because it's water and, and, and you can't drive fire with water. So at the same time the engine company did that, I had the truck to, to assist their search take an attack line. The next two attack lines went into the second and the third floor at the same time that they were knocking down the fire in the rear porches. And I knew that the heavy fire would be knocked down in the rear approximately the same time that the company started making an aggressive interior attack but I didn't wait for that fire to be knocked down before they positioned themselves and started to make progress on the second and third floors. That lets us do the primary search a lot quicker. The beauty is right here just recently. Two weeks ago, we had two single family residents, single story house fires. At the second fire, which was three and a half hours later, but remember, that's there's cleanup there, so. We were really only back at the house about 30 to 45 minutes. And we went, we were dispatched to the call, and our number two station got there very quickly. And I'm talking three and a half minutes they were there. And the officer, who has been through the training, very smart guy, he's, the crew was gonna go in the front door, and he said, stop, stop where you are. We're going to the B side, and we're gonna reset the fire, actual terminology less than 15 seconds of water killed that fire and then allowed the next crew to go in the front door and put out the rest, the rest of the hot spots. These stories tell us of similar approaches in different settings. Consider these lessons learned as you adapt your tactics based on fire dynamics research. Complete as much of a 360 degree scene size up as possible. Adjust incident action plans based on continuous scene assessments. Department members should be trained to recognize the effect of wind on the flow path. Targeted, effective exterior attack can reduce thermal conditions within a structure, allowing for a safer interior attack. Consider instituting tactical procedures that start with exterior water application and control flow paths. Use research to adapt tactics based on the needs and risks of your department. There are no one-size-fits-all solutions to these challenges. Applying and adapting research to your department can bring a significant change in the safety of your department's operations and your firefighters. Visit FSTAR to find more research to help improve your operations, health and wellness programs, and community preparedness efforts. Check out our featured studies, a collection of research studies that translated into easy to use, simple fact sheets focused on providing critical takeaways. FSTAR is funded by a FEMA Assistance to Firefighters Fire Prevention and Safety Grant Award and is managed by the International Association of Fire Chiefs.